Well, hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a very, very quick video discussing Black Ops Cold War's full launch and the current level and current implementation of skill-based matchmaking in the game because this gameplay here is going to play a big part in showing what I've been having to deal with and it's something that I'm not really okay with and this is something that I discussed that happened in the bay and I said was annoying and it's been happening quite a lot in this game but I go 28 and 11 in this gameplay not incredible by any means using the M16 which I will be doing a class up once I've leveled this thing up and that is going to take a while because the level up in this game is quite slow it's a very slow progression I'm not too bothered by that I do like the idea of making progression slow though that when you face people who have leveled up their guns more than you they do have a little bit of advantage but yeah a pretty decent gameplay but what you're going to see is my team loses badly okay we lose by like 30 or 40 odd kills i believe and it's just not good okay you're going to see why at the end of the game because what i'm going to talk about is how skill based matchmaking is implemented into the game and this is my problem with it so my issue isn't facing good players okay now at the moment the skill based matchmaking is very thick in this game okay i definitely feel like it's a lot more a lot more how to put um i'm not sure what to say a lot more heavy in this game i'll say that basically this morning, for instance, before I started recording this video and everything, I faced a player four times in a row. The same player four times in a row. Now, for a launch of a video game with cross-play on and everything, I would not be expecting to face the same player four times in a row. It was a player called God. I knew it was the same player because his level was going up like the exact same progression, basically. Basically, I knew it was the same player. and He was using the same gun. He was using the MP5 literally every game. It was the same player over and over again. And... I was thinking to myself, how am I how am I facing this player over and over again? But on top of that, the problem with me facing next to the same, pretty much the same players over and over again, at a full launch, you know, this didn't happen to me a lot in the beta. Like, it rarely happened. I definitely did not face someone four times in a row in the beta. And the beta had way less players than the full game. At least I'd like to hope there was, you know, there was less players in the beta. Which, but there should be, you know. Like, this is a full launch of the game. Everyone should have the game. And everyone should be playing the game. So, like... I don't understand how I face the same player four times in a row. So there is some thick skill-based matchmaking in this game at the moment. But my biggest problem is the team balancing with the skill-based matchmaking. Because the the idea is that I'm supposed to face players as good as me. Again, no problem with that. You know, it, it wasn't as big of a problem. At least I, I thought, you know, if they, they implemented it the same way as the beta, I thought it would have been fine. That's why I made a video saying that I didn't think skill-based matchmaking would be a, as big of a problem as it is in this game. But currently, I feel like it is, and the problem that is the, the problem I have at the moment, again, is the team balancing, and the team balancing right now is very one-sided. Like, if there becomes a point where you get into a game and your team is just unbelievably terrible, you know. Now, it's not the player's fault, you know. At the end of the day, some people aren't good at video games, some people are good at a certain video game. That's just how it is. But the people who were put on my team, especially this game here shouldn't have been on my team you can already see the school line starting to get away a little bit we're about 12 13 kills down i haven't done anything really wrong in my opinion and plus in this game i believe i actually pick up a sentry gun and a chopper so i have a pretty decent game again again 28 and 11 is a somewhat decent game not incredible by any means but it's a decent game but my entire team and i mean when i show you at the end the scoreboard my entire team does awful as you can see we're conceding chopper gunners i believe we can see like an attack helicopter we can see streak after streak after streak and that's why i'm kind of like sitting here posting up because i can't go anywhere especially on a map as open as this one i can't go anywhere i have to sit here with my m16 and just pick people off because i can't i can't do anything there's nothing i can do and, and go out there and do you know i could possibly shoot down the streaks but i don't really want to spend all that time shooting down streaks that i'm not conceding you know so yeah my biggest issue is just the team balancing with the skill-based matchmaking. You know, I should be getting players just as good as me on my team, not just facing them, you know? And again, you're going to see the scoreline. The scoreline, absolutely. There's no question about it. The team balancing in this specific game, and this wasn't like I was facing a six-man either. The other team is not a six-man, so it's, it, there's, no even, there's not even a good reason as to why the teams are unbalanced. They should be balanced, but they're not. They're completely not balanced. I am basically was forced to try and carry this team. And it just wasn't possible. There was absolutely no way I was going to carry this team. I don't know how these teams ended up being the way they were, but this isn't the first time this has happened in this game. As you can see, I'm picking up attack choppers, sentry gun. I'm doing okay, you know? I'm doing my bit for the team, but my team isn't. And, you know, I don't blame them, you know? And then they, if they're not good players, they're not good players. But they shouldn't be in my lobby. They should be in a different lobby. They should have been nowhere near this lobby 
Now, after this game, they probably were nowhere near this lobby. You know, they're, they're skill based matchmaking, their secret ELO ranks, whatever. However, it's, you know, implemented, you know, means they're not going to play with me. And that's what happened. All these players from this game didn't end up playing with me. I don't know if people from the other team ended up playing with me. I'm not sure. Can't remember that far. But the people on my team definitely were not in my lobby the next game. But it's more than one occasion that I've had teams like this, where the, t the games are unbalanced. Now, maybe my complaint is more about team balancing, but it does go along with the fact of skill based matchmaking. If I'm going to face players as good as myself, if not better than myself, especially at this stage of the game, you know, this is early days. I've already faced like people who are already prestige one now. I'm, I'm just about creeping up to level 35, you know, because level progression is slow, but I'm facing people who are prestige one, you know, getting on their way to prestige two almost. You know, they've leveled up their guns, we've got fully decked out MP5s already, whilst I'm still trying to level up my guns. And I'm having to face that. But the people on my team aren't even close to that. I've not had a single person over Prestige 1 on my team. I've not had a single person who I've looked at and went, hey, you've got a fully decked out MP5, fully decked out M16. I don't get that. It doesn't happen at all. As you can see by the scoreline, we're down, what, 19 kills right now? You know, it's a bit of a blowout, okay? And the scoreline here, like, I believe we pick up, like, nine more kills again. Right now, I think this is the part where they call in another, like, chopper or something. And I'm stuck here. I can't go anywhere. There's nowhere to go for me to go. You know, my team's conceded another streak. I don't know if it's from a care package or not, but yeah, as you can see, there's a guy just running around getting free kill streaks, and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't stop my team from dying. It's not possible. So this is kind of a mini round. Also, by the way, this gameplay was recorded in fear mode. So if you you do think like the hit markers are a bit weird and stuff for the fact that you're not seeing hit markers, I'm not going to record in fear mode anymore because I thought it would be kind of decent to record in. But it's not very good. It doesn't show name tags properly sometimes, doesn't show the enemy uh, name above the bar, doesn't show hit markers, and there's nothing I can do to change that. And you guys are probably looking at thinking that the gameplay looks a bit weird, so apologies for that. I was hoping like I wouldn't have to have my recording going live whilst playing the games, but I'm going to have to do that for now because unfortunately fear mode isn't as good as what it was. You know, maybe it was implemented Im implemented like as a last minute thing, I don't know, but it's it's not great. It's, it's okay, you can view a game, but it's not great. But yeah. Look at these scoreboards, look at the KDs of the people on my team, and just look at the imbalance of this game. And let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the current skill-based matchmaking and team balancing in Black Ops Cold War. Because right now, I feel like it needs changing, you know? The, the punishment for being a good solo player is way too much right now. So yeah, enjoy the rest of well, check out the KDs on the scoreboard, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe notifications on, I'll catch you guys in the next video.